Culture. President, please be seated. Président, veuillez vous asseoir. The court is now back in session. And again, the floor is handed to the co-prosecutors to put questions to this witness. You may proceed. Thank you, Mr. President. Um, I thank you, um, Madam Witness, for um, telling us um, what happened to you. I know how much how difficult it must be. Um, I'll come back to pick up um, what you were telling us about interrogation. Uh, but first, I want to go back um, uh, to ask some uh, details about some of the things you just told us. Um, you indicated that after your husband was arrested, you were sent to work in a widow's unit. Could you tell us, could you tell us uh, how long you worked in that widow's unit before the time you were arrested? Or in other words, uh, how long was it after your husband's arrest that you were arrested and sent to Krang Tachan? My husband was uh, arrested and sent in the transplanting uh, season. And after the harvest season, we were sent to work on the dike system, and that when I was arrested. However, I cannot recall the, the period between my husband's arrest and when I was arrest, arrested. I only knew that he was arrested during the rice transplanting season. The period between when your husband was arrested and you were arrested, was it a short period, just a few weeks, or was it a longer period, uh, a number of months? If I recall it correctly, my husband was arrested when my daughter became seriously ill. We didn't have any uh, treatment for her, and I was told that there was no need to look after my daughter and the old ladies, old women would look after her and that I uh, had to return to work. At that time, my daughter was still young. She was a, a bit uh, over a year old. She started walking at the time. And, and that was the time that uh, my husband was arrested. And Later on, uh, during the harvest season, and it was almost over when I was arrested. And when my daughter was sick, I wanted her to be sent to a hospital, but the village chief denied the request. Thank you, Madam Witness. Um, no, you also told us that when you were arrested, uh, your one-year-old uh, child was arrested with you. Uh, did you have other children? Uh, and if so, what happened to them when you were arrested? I had two children when I was arrested. However, the youngest one 
Le died. plus jeune de mes enfants toutefois est mort. And only later on when I remarried, I have tard, three more children. Remarié que j'ai eu trois enfants de plus. The child uh, of yours that died, um, did this child die before Krang Tachan or while you were at Krang Tachan? She died before I was sent to Krang Tachan. How old was your child? Uh, who died before you were sent Question. to Krang Tachan, and was this a boy or a girl? Can you tell us uh, what happened to that child? It was my son. He died after I delivered him, not long after I de delivered him, because of the uh, improper delivery, he died. En raison d'un mauvais accouchement. Thank you, Madam Witness. Um, Mr. President, with your leave, um, at this point I'd like to provide a document to the witness, um, a Krang Tachan prisoner list, um, to see if that helps refresh a recollection about the timing of uh, when she was sent to Krang Tachan. This is document E3-4164, E3-4164. Uh, with your leave, may I provide this to the witness? Yes, you can do so. Madam Witness, the document that you've been provided uh, is a prisoner list titled Brief Biographies of Prisoners at Tramcock District Education Office. The second prisoner on this list, uh, and I've highlighted um, that information to make it easy for you, uh, is uh, yourself, a person named Vorn Saroon, a 27 female from Kiche village, Dong Tong commune uh, in Kampot, um, married to a uh, husband named Prak Set. And this prisoner list uh, records the date of your arrival at uh, Krang Tachan as the 23rd of May 1977. Uh, does that refresh your recollection about when you were arrested and sent to Krang Tachan? Uh, was it, in fact, around May 1977? While the witness is thinking, could you please provide us with the reference? Number? Uh, yes, Your Honor. Uh, it's the, the second person on the list. The specific ERN references are uh, English 00973147, French 00937104, uh, and in Khmer, en it's Khmer, a it's a two-page document, and it's on it, her her information pages. goes across both pages. Uh, just to make sure the record is clear, that the English ERN. Ah. So and the document again is E three four one six four. Uh, Madam Witness, does this refresh your recollection that the time you were arrested and sent to Krang Tachan was in May of 
However, I was not asked whether I stayed at the hospital in the Takao provincial town. Because after the country was liberated, I was transferred to work in that hospital. Then I was assigned to work in the rice field for two years before I was sent to Tramcock district. Now, the uh, prisoner whose name appears immediately below yours, so it's the third person in this list, is identified as Uch Han, a 26-year-old female medic from Trapyung Kul, uh, who arrived on the same date as you, the 23rd of May, 1977. Uh, is this the person that you referred to earlier, named Han, the female who you met and who was sent to Krang Tachan with you? Yes, that is correct. However, I do not know the uh, surname of uh, that woman. I only know her name as she was known as Han. Now, in the far right column um, for both yourself and Han, um, you let, if you look at the second page of your document is where you'll find that column. Um, the list indicates that yourself and Han uh, had been arrested because you were implicated in the responses of Hong and Kong. And I'd like to ask you now uh, a few questions about the two people who are referenced here, uh, Hong and Kong. Um, you've already identified uh, for us that Kong a uh, person named Kong was the head of Hospital uh, 22. Um, do you remember, uh, were you still at hospital, Hospital 22? And do you remember whether Kong was arrested at some point? One night, I didn't know uh, when, all the medical staff were called to attend a meeting. And Kong told my husband and myself that we would be transferred to Tramcock district. And after the meeting was concluded, I saw a, a lamprater vehicle, and we, my husband and I were put onto that lamprater, and I didn't know where we were uh, sent through because it was dark. And by dawn, we arrived at a location where I learned that it was uh, Tramco district. And I did not know uh, Tramco district before. Auparavant, je ne connaissais pas ce district. So we didn't know about the location that we were transferred to, although later on I knew it was a Tramcock district. And later on, my husband also told me that uh, Takong was arrested, though he didn't know where he was sent to. And on the night of the meeting, at the Hospital 22, I saw a large vehicle which transported all the medical staff 
to a somewhere. Medical qui l'a emmené quelque part. And they were called to board uh, that uh, truck. Although I did not know the reason for them being uh, put into that trap. However, my husband and I were put into a lamprater. And as I said later on, we learned that Takong was also arrested. At this meeting uh, at Hospital 22, Question. did Kong uh, tell you uh, or the other staff why you were being sent away? No, we were not told anything. However, because we stay close to other medical staff, and they were instructed to board a, a separate vehicle while my husband and I were instructed to board that Lambretta vehicle. And after that, I did not know what happened to those uh, medical staff. Um, how many people worked as medical staff at the hospital and how many of them were taken away that night? more than 20 medical staff at that hospital, including men and women. However, I did not know who were called to board that vehicle. And it happened at night time. I saw them being called to board that vehicle. And I myself was also uh, rather confused as we were instructed to board uh, a separate vehicle. Well, let me now ask you about the other person uh, that was referenced uh, in the list I provided you, um, which indicated that you were arrested because you had been implicated by two people, Kong and Hong. Uh, did you know a staff or cadre named Hong who worked at Hospital 22? It seems that I cannot recall anyone uh, by the name of Hong, or it could be an alias for a, uh, a person that I knew. I cannot say. Uh, Mr. President, with your leave, uh, at this time I'd like to provide another document to the witness to see if I can refresh her recollection about uh, it, this is the Krang to Chan notebook D157.13, D157.13. Uh, and the relevant uh, ERN references are Khmer 00270827.1. URN anglais 010-64-174-176, French 00-971-285-288. Uh, with your leave, may I provide this document to the witness? Si vous j'aimerais que ce document soit à présent remis au témoin. President, you may proceed. Le Président, je vous en prie.
Madam Witness, um, the document I'm handing you um, is a notebook uh, that has been identified as coming from Krang to Chan. Uh, it contains notes relating to a person named Hun Hong. Uh, you'll see this, the start uh, of the entry for Hun Hong is on Khmer 00270827. This person is described as uh, being 59 years old, a wife named Kam, uh, and he was born in Chang Torn Commune Tramcot District. Uh, the notes indicated that he had been assigned to be a staff member at Hospital 22 in charge of herbal medicine. Um, does that re refresh your re recollection? Do you remember this person named Hong from Hospital 22? Answer. I uh, do not know réponse. this name. Je ne reconnais pas ce nom. If you could look at um, the next page in Khmer, um, that is page uh, 00270828, you'll see that there is a list uh, a numbered list of people uh, who were identified by Han as purportedly being involved in, I quote, traitorous activities with the contemptible Kong. And there's 13 people on that first page. It continues on the next page. Um, there's a total of 16 people listed. Um, I first uh, direct, direct you to number 13, um, which is Run, female, a set's wife. Um, can you tell us whether um, you were referred to some people by some people as Run during the Khmer Rouge period? Yeah. Answer, yes, I was referred as Rune by some people. What I'd like you to do is take a look at the list of 16 names there and tell me if you remember any of these people, whether any of the uh, other people who are listed here uh, were people who also worked at Hospital 22 like yourself. President, please wait, uh, Madame Witness. You may not proceed, uh, Mr. Kong Sam On. Kong Sam On, thank you very much. Uh, Mr. President, I would like to make an observation in relation to the presentation of names by uh, co-prosecutor. He mentioned the name Hong. I read document D157.13. Uh, at the number mentioned by prosecutor, the name was Han, and uh, it was not. It is not clear, and perhaps the name is not. Hong. Hong. So I uh, think I would like to ask the chamber to ask the co prosecutor to clarify the name whether it is Hong or it, was, it is another name. Mr. President, I obviously I cannot read Khmer. I can tell you that in both the English and French translations, the name is translated as Hun. Uh, in English, Hun Hong. In uh, the French, Hun Hong. Uh, so essentially the same, uh, same name. Uh, he, the counsel is correct that the writing is a little hard to read, but both translators were able to interpret it. 
raison, il est un petit peu difficile de lire ce nom. Il y a peut-être donc une, des différences dans les traductions. Madame Witness, the question I was asking you was, le témoin, looking at the list of 16 people, are there any other names on that list that you recognize as people who worked with you at Hospital 22? Parmi ces personnes, figuraient des membres du personnel soignant de l'hôpital 22. Yeah. Witness, I could Réponse. not read some names because uh, they, some of the names uh, are not clear to me. And uh, as for Je my name, it is clear. Ne sont pas très I could read it Mon clearly. Nom, en revanche, apparaît très clairement. J'ai pu le lire. Fair enough. Uh, thank you, Madam Witness. Um, one of the references in Question, these merci, notes. Madame. Um, there is a reference um, to your husband, Set, uh, and also to another cadre from Hanoi, a person who is identified as a cadre from Hanoi named Dung. Uh, do you remember a person named Dung uh, who worked with your husband and was also uh, referenced as a cadre from Hanoi? Et euh, à propos duquel, l'on disait également qu'il s'agissait d'un cadre de Hanoï. I thank you. I apologize for my pronunciation. Question. Merci. Um, Pardonnez-moi pour ma prononciation. Uh, is it correct then that Dung, Dung also worked at Hospital 22 uh, with you and your husband? Est également à l'hôpital 22, aux côtés de votre mari et vous-même. Yeah. Answer. Yes. His name Réponse, was oui. Dung. Il He was Dung. also a surgeon. Il était lui aussi Chirurgien. And do you know what happened to him during the Question. Khmer Rouge regime? Uh, was he also arrested like your husband and yourself? Answer. When my husband and I were transferred at night time, et moi -même avons été, avons été Duong la and nuit. his wife, uh, the chi et sa femme, Chinese uh, descendant, uh, were also transported together with us. Eux aussi uh, when Duong avec nous. arrived at Tramcock, I Tram did not know where he was sent to. When uh, we arrived at Tram Kok, Duong and his pas. wife was transferred to elsewhere. I uh, did not know where they were ailleurs. transferred to. Je ne sais pas où ils ont été and did you ever hear or learn uh, after that what happened to Duong Question. and his wife? Et savez-vous ce qu'il est arrivé par la suite à Duong et sa femme? Yeah. Answer, I do réponse, not know. I non, have no information. Pas. Je ne sais pas. Je n'ai pas d'informations sur ce sujet. You've told us um, about um, your arrest. Vous nous avez parlé uh, what I want to ask you now is what you uh, can tell us about the time that your husband was arrested and taken away. Je à quel moment votre mari a été arrêté et emmené. Answer. Réponse. It was almost at noon time. C'était vers midi. Il était presque midi. At noon time, when my uh, unit returned from work, there was a person uh, 
told me that Irund, the site of was arrested and sent for education. I was crying after I heard this news. J'ai pleuré en apprenant la nouvelle. I thought when I was uh, walking uh, back from my work, I, it appeared that travail, I knew pied, my husband was about to arrest. Je savais. And Mon there was uh, one aunt uh, told me about the arrest Anne of uh, parlé de uh, my husband. De mari. That uh, person told me that Tassait uh, was Cette arrested. I was told that uh, the site uh, was sent uh, to help with delivery of a, a woman at Tropeang Tom. And after I heard this news, I was weeping. I knew that if I was transferred away from my si unit, I would be si also killed because I, I learned that I was put in a class below an ordinary people group. Did you ever see your husband again uh, after he was taken away that day? Answer, I did not meet him later on. Réponse. At that time, I was par la suite. sent to build a dam and carry a, my unit was sent uh, to do such work. A été à cette tâche. There was a woman at that area Il y avait une femme à cet endroit-là. And uh, she considered uh, me as uh, her daughter. I had a baby and my uh, baby name was Chirap. That lady Chirap. told me that, uh, uh, please uh, do not cry. That your husband had already been arrested. On de ne plus he pleurer. was a walk away to the south. Vers le sud. And after I was told about this, I uh, was uh, walking to the south. I could see him. Uh, I, I could sud. see that he was there. Vu il était là -bas. When I was walking, there was an, a person uh, running to hold my wrist. Uh, and told me not to approach poignet, that area, otherwise I would be in danger. Pour ne pas the, my godmother, that is the lady who told me about Ma this, marraine, uh, uh, did not tell me that uh, my husband was put in a prison. I did not know what to do besides uh, decided to walk to that faire. area to see. De marcher, I was thinking that if I uh, dared uh, walk to that place, si I uh, would see my husband detained. Je que mon mari avait été uh, thank you. Thank you for that uh, response, Madam Witness. Um, I want to turn now to uh, the period that you were detained at Krang Tuchan. Um, you've already told us um, about your arrival and how you were uh, shackled in a detention building uh, for seven days before you were taken for interrogation. Um, I'd like you, if you can, to uh, describe for us in a little more detail the building in which you were detained. Um, what was that building like? Uh, how many other prisoners were detained in there with you? Uh, can you tell us a little bit about the building in which you were detained at Krang Tuchan? 
dans lequel vous avez été détenu à Krang Tachan. Yeah. Answer. There were three buildings for keeping prisoner one trois bâtiments qui at the north side and another one was at the east. Il y en avait un à l'est. And there were another building uh, at another side. Il y avait également un autre bâtiment. Uh, the building was a long one notre côté. wrought with leaves. There were wooden walls or planks. Il y avait des planches en bois. I uh, did not pay any attention uh, to the building. I was thinking that uh, I was when I was in uh, the Building, I uh, Lorsque j'étais là-bas, die. tout ce à quoi je pensais, c'était que j'allais mourir. And uh, there was fence. There was a barbed wire fence. Une clôture de barbelé. And uh, the place uh, where I was sleeping, there were also uh, wire nets uh, below. Us. Et à l'endroit où je dormais, so il even, y avait uh, the des cockroaches and rats could not escape uh, from uh, that place. Les et les rats there were bad wires, nets everywhere. Il y avait des filets un peu and I thought that uh, that place de was partout, the area that I would die there. Mourir, the three buildings were used to, to keep uh, prisoners. Les prisonniers Ipon, étaient détenus dans ces trois bâtiments. Buen, Ipon, Buen, and I et were put in the same prison. Avons été placés dans the la whole même family prison. of Yenyor were also Yenyor imprisoned at that place. But one of her daughter and one of her son were allowed to stay outside Mais of the cells because Yenor was des cellules, a cook car Yenor était and as for others who were new uh, peasants uh, pour ce qui est des were venus, des imprisoned in that place. One night I Ils heard the steps un, une, une and nuit, I heard the door was open. La porte s'est ouverte. And the prisoner were tied one meter away from ligotés, each other. At that night, uh, all of us could not sleep, and uh, babies uh, were crying. Les bébés pleuraient. Because of uh, too many people in the prison, uh, some of them were to be sent away, were to be sent home. At first, I was very happy because I heard départ, that uh, some prisoners would uh, be allowed to return home. I was about to ask uh, the, the, the people working there the to allow me to go back home, but I was pinched by a lady Mais not to do or not to ask such a thing. I could demande. see at that time uh, there were skinny people. They could not even, maigre. they could hardly walk. I did not marcher. know whether these individuals were allowed to return home. Si I heard the sound of loudspeaker music were played. And musique. I was told that you, uh, Irun, you perhaps uh, Irun was not were not aware of uh, the pretext that uh, people were sending back home. Actually, they were sent uh, to be killed. I believe because of my good deeds, I uh, I treated uh, people at the hospital when I was a medic, and I could survive. 
soigner des gens en tant que personnel soignant, j'avais bien agi, je devais être récompensé pour mes bonnes actions. Prisoner was sent into Krangtachan during the transplanting season and this prisoner would not be killed uh, immediately. They were asked to go and transplant with all of us. We, the prisoner, we were allowed to work outside uh, the prison, and we were told that after uh, some of the new prisoners had the transplanting work, they would be allowed to go back home, but actually they were taken to be killed. Prisoners were taken in one after an another, and they were interrogated also one after another. I had a friend named Ron. She or he was the child of a district committee. This person, Roma, did not know that uh, their parents were arrested and put in Krangtachan. Because I knew this person, I talked uh, to her and I asked her why you came here. And I was spotted talking to this individual, Rom. Later, I was uh, put back in the prison because non. I uh, was talking to this Re person, Rom. I knew that because I was uh, talking to uh, this person, I was uh, detained back in the prison. And I stop talking to anyone later on. Ron was also put in the prison. When we were sleeping in the same cells at night, I touched a rom. She was very skinny and bony. We could uh, see each other only at night time. I was detained there for seven days, and uh, I was allowed to return back to work after the seven day detain. And I was warned that later I uh, should not have talked to anyone else. I could not uh, forget all the things I experienced. Thank you for that, uh, all that information, Merci Madam Witness. Um, you indicated that the prison building you were in was very crowded. There were too many prisoners there. Um, are you able to give us uh, any estimate of the total number of prisoners who were in that building with you? Answer. If Réponse. prisoners were all in such buildings, the, the number si would reach complet, 40 prisoners on in one building. And the hall or buildings were of the same size. Tous les bâtiments étaient de la même taille. People were sleeping uh, foot to foot, and there was a, an alley or an area for walking in between the prisoners sleeping. You also mentioned uh, the names of some other Question. prisoners who were detained in the Vous same building as you were, um, you mentioned Ye Na and her family as Yena, prisoners who were famille, already there. Um, we're familiar with uh, who là, Ye Na is. Um, you also mentioned the names of uh, some new prisoners who were put in the building at the same time as you. Uh, could you tell us again the names of the prisoners who were put in that building 
with you and who they were? Answer. I did not dare to ask other prisoner names because I was warned after I uh, was asking and talking to my friend Rom. I was one among the one prisoner among the last batch. Je faisais partie du dernier groupe de prisonniers. When I arrived in that uh, prison, Lorsque je suis I arrivé could see uh, prisoners had already been put in that place. There were new prisoners coming in, but I did not dare to ask uh, their names because I got uh, one experience already. Earlier, you told us that when you Question. first arrived tôt, at Prang Chan, uh, that your baby cried for three days and that she was uh, beaten. Um, can you explain what happened to your baby and who it was that hit or beat or uh, who, who it was that hit your baby? Answer. My baby was crying, and the Mon one who hit my baby was Sing. La personne qui l'a frappé s'appelait Sing. I heard people call him Sing when I was uh, working outside. And. Uh, People, a prisoner, were asked to go and search for catfish or crocfish. And my baby was asked to catch the catfish or baby fish so that my baby uh, could die. It was very painful for me at that time, and I uh, pray for Buddha très, très douloureux, to help uh, my baby. And uh, my bébé. baby caught uh, the fish, but uh, he was not uh, bitten by the fish. Madam Witness, did, did your uh, baby um, managed to survive and live le témoin, through the time that you were at Prang Tachan. A réussi à survivre pendant cette période où vous avez été détenu à Prang Tachan. Yes. Réponse oui. And a couple more con questions Question. about the conditions at this prison. Um, can you tell us whether prisoners uh, became sick there often and whether medical treatment was provided to the prisoners when they were sick? In the building that I uh, stayed, there was one man by the name of June who was a former soldier and he was blind in both eyes. His wife was pawn and they had a, a child, B. And they were housed in the same building. Initially, they were allowed to, to stay out. 
but he was so hungry, so he stole a chicken egg, and he was caught and placed in that building, and was not allowed to to uh, stay out. Allow me to uh, tell you that in that building there were many uh, mice running around, and he caught a mouse alive. Et il a attrapé une de ses and souris vivantes. because of his hunger, he ate that mouse alive, and he vivante. gave her some meat to the, uh, his child and to his wife, but his wife uh, did not uh, dare eat uh, the meat of the mouse, and la chair de la about a month later, his body became uh, swollen. So was his uh, child, and they were not given any medical treatment, treatment, not at all. And as a result, he died. His child also died. And when he died, his body was dragged of the wooden floor Son corps toward the, planches, the exit the door, and because the exit door was uh, led with barbed wire, so his uh, cop was caught with the barbed wire, and you could see the, the wounds and the marks on the uh, dead body. Et on voyait les blessures et les and sometimes le prisoners mort. were being beaten up, and Parfois I could uh, have, have a look through the crack of the wall, si and I saw those prisoners mur, were being beaten up, and some of them were swollen. And that's what I actually uh, saw with my own eyes while I was there. The, the former soldier that you just told us about who was blind and who died after uh, eating uh, a rat, um, when you say he was a former soldier, do you know, was he a Khmer Rouge soldier, or was he a soldier um, for the uh, Lon Nol regime? Dion uh, was a former Khmer Rouge soldier. You um, had started to tell us about when you were taken for interrogation. Um, you indicated that you were detained for seven days, shackled, and after seven days you were um, released from your shackles and taken to uh, sit on a metal chair in the interrogation place. Can you describe for us, as best you remember, what happened when you were interrogated? When I reached the area, I was asked to sit on this small uh, chair, and I was asked where I hit a pistol, but I myself was not aware of any pistol. I did not have any pistol with me. The only thing I had was the clothes that I was wearing, and I had some clothes, but it was at the cooperative. And that one of the questions that I was asked. Then they asked me as to what level of education I studied, and I replied that I studied at the Duke College at the third grade in the old education system. And then they told me that 
Then they asked me, how did my uh, husband introduce me to the uh, KGB or June uh, Spy Network? And I replied that I did not know anything about the KGB uh, or the June uh, Spy. Although my husband and I were a couple, we rarely stayed si together as my husband stayed couple, at the front battlefield and I stayed at the uh, rear battlefield, battlefield to provide treatment uh, to the wounded soldiers. Il, uh, les and after I gave uh, that uh, response, Après cette réponse, I uh, was weeping. Je pleurais. Then one of them was about to hit me with a, uh, a tree stem, but uh, he was stopped by another uh, person. Then they told me uh, to return and to uh, write my uh, summary biography about my background, about what my husband uh, did or my parents did or what I did before I started working. I was not uh, beaten physically, but I was hurt emotionally. They teased me that because uh, I was uh, good looking, that's why my husband really loved me. And that caught my attention that I knew they, they, they knew that my husband was detained there. That's why they knew about my husband and I. And, and I was sure that he was detained there and that he died there. And on a, another occasion, I was told by Yipon that my husband was uh, killed near a tree uh, to the west of the compound. And I decided uh, to, to go there and see whether I could find the skeleton remains of my husband. And I actually uh, tried to uh, chase the cows uh, through the west side. However, I actually just tried to move closer to that tree. And upon reaching the, the tree location, I saw many skeleton remains. And I couldn't say which bones uh, belonged to my husband. I was then uh, transferred to another location, another, another location because they said that I went to an area that I was not uh, supposed to go to. On dit que allé dans un où je and pas one day, Yipont and une I fois, and uh, other people et et were uh, led to go to uh, outside the compound near an area near a pond where there were no houses of the nearby villagers. At around 8 or 9 o'clock, I saw them sharpening a curved looking knife. Then they played music over a, a loud speaker. And we were walked in line. But we were not uh, tied up. Because we didn't have any strength uh, to flee due to the insufficient food. And I saw these people uh, walked in line, though I did not know where they were taken uh, to be killed. I tried to, to go out uh, under the pretext that I go to relieve myself, but in fact, I just want to see what happened uh, to those uh, 
people. Though I did not see the act of killing myself, I saw blood stains on them and on the knife, and they washed themselves uh, in the pond. At that time, I wanted to know how they killed those uh, people, so I would know how my husband was killed. As I knew, my husband had already been uh, killed, but I didn't see how they killed those people. I only saw uh, bloodstains all over their bodies when they came to uh, cleanse themselves in the pond. So I made my own conclusion that my husband was not uh, killed by a bamboo a stick, but was killed by a long knife, as the one that I saw. Madam Witness, you uh, just mentioned a, a fellow prisoner named Ye uh, Pon, um, a person who told you about where your husband had been killed. Uh, can you tell us who Ye Pon was? What did you know about her? Ye Pon was the husband of uh, June, uh, the, the man who died, as I mentioned. She did not uh, commit any wrongdoing, and before the country was uh, liberated, she was in charge of the uh, blind people, and she was accused of exchanging an elephant for the vehicles of those people coming from Phnom Penh. And she knew that my husband was killed at the location that she told me. Did, uh, did Ye Pon, uh, was she one of the survivors of Khmer Rouge, or did she die uh, at that prison? Before Phnom Penh fell, she was told to prepare her belonging as uh, she would be sent back home and uh, that she had been re-educated. So uh, Ye Pon and another uh, young girl by the name of Vun were sent her way. However, I did not know whether they were returned to their village or not, as they had left before I left. I want to go back um, uh, to your interrogation uh, that you described for us. Uh, can you tell us um, how many cadres uh, were there who uh, conducted, who interrogated you? Uh, how many people interrogated you? And do you know the names of any of the uh, prison cadres who interrogated you? The chief was Ta An, Le chef était Ta An. and uh, uh, Ta Peng was the one who Ta interrogated me, and there was also another man by the name of Jane, répondant, though I don't know whether he was in any uh, real Jane. position. Mais je ne sais pas si and there were these three or four people who were interrogating me at that time. And you mentioned that one of the people uh, started to uh, hit you with a, a club, uh, but was stopped by one of the others. Can you tell us uh, who it was that was going to hit you and who it was that stopped that person? Empêcher cette personne de vous battre. Il y avait une personne qui était sur le point 
said that I was innocent and that it was my husband who did the wrongdoing. So then they instructed me to uh, write my own biography and that it, it would not be long Donc, before I die. After you wrote your biography, were you uh, ever interrogated Question. again? Après la rédaction de cette biographie, avez-vous jamais été à nouveau interrogé? They stopped interrogating me by then. However, I was detained in that house for another week. Été then I was let out to uh, work in the field ensuite, with other inmates, uh, including the children of Yeno, Yeno, Dam, Dang, and Eun. We were asked to carry earth. Et je plus été and on a termite mount earth as well. De la terre, de la terre à termitière également. And I became ill, physically ill, as malade, I worked so hard in carrying the earth très dur pour at the la time. Terre. And the symptoms still persist today. Et les symptômes perdurent. And even when I was uh, assigned to do the rice transplantation, I had to work very hard in order to achieve the work of quota. Pour atteindre les quotas de travail. And while I was uh, transplanting the rice, there were some small little frogs in, uh, in the field and I caught them and put them in my, uh, hid them in my uh, pocket. Ma so when I returned to the uh, kitchen, je suis à la cuisine, I used an old cooking pot left over left from the previous une prisoners and cooked those little par les uh, frogs et and ate them. Grenouilles que ensuite and uh, during the uh, frog hunting uh, night, usually they et would cut off the frog heads and uh, threw them away. And I would uh, go, I would pick those uh, frog heads up put them into the soup and try to uh, eat it in order to survive. We were mistreated in every manner, although they did not physically beat us up. Même si nous pas and I asked the pawn why I was not uh, Alors, beaten up and that I was only battu. threatened. Pourquoi on avait fait que me menacer? And she said, for, for those people like Elle myself who were not beaten up, means that I uh, would be used dire to provide the service in the uh, prison until the day I die. Prison, ma mort. As for those who uh, were sent away and killed, Quant none of them survived. And only us who were spared because we, nous they, they needed us to provide them with the service within the compound. Mr. President, at this time I'd like to provide one more uh, document uh, for the witness to see. Uh, this is uh, another uh, Krang Tachan uh, interrogation notebook document D157.7. The D157.7 and the ERN references um, are Khmer 00270874, English 00866434, a French 00872809. Uh, these are notes um, relating to the interrogation of this witness at Krang Tachan.
Yes, and you may do so. Président, allez-y. Um, before we do this, please. Um, we are back to the issue of torture, possibly torture tainted evidence. What are the notes about? The notes. Not the substance, but obviously the, the quality of the notes. What's, what's in the notes? The notes have biographical information on her and then a summary of matters on which she was interrogated. Uh, uh, so the purpose of questioning is simply to, um, uh, a, uh, well, there are a number of things I want to ask the witness about, whether she's familiar with how these notes were kept, whether some are recorded, uh, and also whether this refreshes her recollection about subject matters she was interrogated about. Can we please keep the document away from the witness until we have decided? Um, take it away until we have decided, please. Thank you.
No, I'll give it an President uh, Deco Prosecutor, right. the Chamber grants you the use of the uh, document. However, please uh, try to avoid uh, the substance of uh, the document in your uh, question. And court officer, please deliver the document uh, for the witness uh, examination. Thank you, Mr. I'm just asking clarify something. I know we'll have the debate on torture tainted evidence in, very, in a very short time, so I don't want to go into any details. But if I understood you correctly, and please tell me if I didn't, you're confronting her with a statement that was taken when she most probably wasn't, um, uh, was, was maltreated. And you want to confront of the subst with the substance of what she said then? Wouldn't that be the core of the protection? No. Uh, the, the torture convention is intended to prevent us people from relying on the truth of confessions. It, it allows us to introduce evidence that she was interrogated and made statements. So the issue here is simply what was she interrogated about? Did she make the statement? And, and who, who does she know who kept these notes? These are all uses. None of these uses are, are, are in any way barred by the uh, Article 15 of the Torture Convention. The, there is no problem with uh, who made the statement. There is no problem with uh, did you make the statement. But there might be a potential problem with did you say what this and this in the statement. My question was not going to be to confirm whether she said these things, whether they were true, but just to know, does this refresh her about the questions that were asked to her? I think it is entirely appropriate to know, use this evidence to find out what she was being interrogated about, not, not for the truth of it, but to know what the purpose of the interrogation was. Uh, Madam Witness, um, the page on which there are notes relating to you is at a page that I've marked, um, Khmer 00270874. My a first question to you is whether you remember uh, whether there was anyone who was recording or taking notes while you were being interrogated that day. Yes, uh, somebody was uh, taking a note, and in fact, it was Anne who was uh, taking note at the time. Do you recognize the handwriting uh, of these notes? Are, are you able to tell us whether this is Anne's, Anne's handwriting? He was sitting at the uh, far end of the table, so I could not see the handwriting. However, uh, allow me to tell you that although I didn't confess, they would just write down what they wanted. Il pouvait écrire ce que ce qui in the uh, document. Dans One day document. I was uh, taken a food uh, to the uh, pig's pen. Un jour, je me and où les the pour interrogation aller les house was not uh, far from the Le pig pen, although there was a cassava plantation in between, I could clearly hear what was being said in the interrogation house. They asked 
about Sur whether the person was a new uh, person or whether that person held the rank nouveau, of a si uh, captain in the army. And the response was no. I was not, then I heard the sound of a whipping, and then they, were, they asked the question again, whether he held a rank of a captain, and he said no, and the same process kept repeating. Until the end, he confessed that he was a captain, and that response was to avoid being beaten again. So. I could conclude that they could write anything as they wished in the uh, response, as they would consider that was uh, my uh, confession. That's how I uh, would uh, conclude. One last question on these notes and your interrogation. There is a reference in here to Kong, the head of Hospital 22. Uh, do you remember being asked questions during your interrogation about Kong? No, I was not asked questions about the, the person. They asked me questions about my husband and his role in uh, educating me. Um, Mr. President, the civil parties have seated all the time for questioning uh, this, this witness to me. I have about 10 more minutes to finish my questions. Uh, I can proceed, proceed now if, if, uh, if you wish or, or proceed after the break, but I request uh, an additional 10 minutes to finish, finish my questioning. President, the president, you uh, may proceed then, and there was a, a slight delay uh, during the start of the session this morning as well, so uh, you can proceed. And thank you, uh, Mr. President. Um, Madam Witness, you told us um, about uh, witnessing uh, some people being taken away for executions and about music being played. Uh, I have a few more questions that I want to ask you about the subject of prisoner executions at Krang to Chan. Uh, can you tell us um, how often uh, were prisoners taken away from your detention building uh, during the time you were there? Uh, how often did you see people being taken away um, and taken out to the west side of the prison that you talked about? It was uh, rather often until those uh, big pits fréquent. were filled. And after that, the uh, prisoners were uh, taken out of the first fence parameter, that Les is, within the first and the second fence uh, parameter, where people were not allowed to uh, trespass. So when the pits within the first uh, fence parameter were filled, then they were taken out and killed uh, outside the first uh, fence parameter, but within the second fence parameter. And I would like to uh, tell you about uh, one incident that I still uh, experience at present. Uh, a, a soldier was detained near me, and he said that he was uh, missing uh, his family, and he was uh, brought to be detained at Krantachan. 
and during his interrogation, he was severely beaten up. His entire body was wounded, and throughout the night, he cried from the wounds. He cried for his parents. He cried for his mother to help him throughout the night. And next day, he was interrogated again. And I and other workers uh, who were carrying Et us to the west part of the interrogation house terre, à vers le lieu and I, if I am not mistaken, a prisoner could only escape during the interrogation time. Uh, si at that time, dit, they would be untied. So the, the person jumped over the first fence parameter, and then he could also jump, the second, jump over the second fence parameter. And we were looking at him being, uh, uh, running away. And the soldiers who were guarding us uh, ordered the workers to go and uh, chase him. He was caught out. He was bitten until he became gardaient, unconscious. Then they tied his feet and dragged him over the rice field. His clothes were torn, and he was bleeding all over his body. And at the end, he was dragged back into his uh, sleeping uh, cell. And that's what I witnessed cellule. personally. Voilà I couldn't see, yeux. I couldn't say how much pain that was inflicted upon him. La souffrance qui lui and a next day, indicible. he was told that he would be uh, sent back to his unit. He was put on the motorbike, and then there was another person who was sitting behind him moto, with a rifle. But uh, from my experience, I believe that he would not be returned to his unit. And there was another incident that there was a y new a female incident. patient who wanted to flee while working in the rice field. And she said that she uh, wanted to go and quickly relieve herself in a nearby uh, bush. And she was hiding herself behind a termite mound. And then we were order to go and find her. And in fact, she was hiding under the uh, tree near the uh, to my mound. She was then arrested, brought back, and beaten up. She was badly beaten. And it was so pity to witness uh, such and the incident, and there were many more incidents that I personally witnessed during the time that I was detained there. Although it was not inflicted upon me, but I felt the pain that those people suffered, and I could imagine the suffering that my other relatives received when they were being beaten up. Thank you, Madam Witness. You mentioned, told us about an incident where you saw uh, guards or people sharpening their knives. You saw a line of people being walked to an area where there were graves, and after you saw them cleaning blood from their swords. Um, my question is, who, who were the people who were sharpening their swords and then cleaning the blood off of them? Do you remember the names of any of these people?
I think I was in a rush uh, to know uh, what happened to those people. Ce de ces and I couldn't clearly see who they were due to their bushes. And I bussons. did not have uh, time to have a proper observation. I only had a, a quick look at it and then I moved. Could you tell us uh, when, um, when it was that you left Krang Tachan and the circumstances of how you survived and were able to leave that prison? During a harvest season, we were asked to harvest the season to stress it. Pendant la saison de la récolte, and then the rice would be put into a rice barn. And at that time, I heard the sound of a gun fire from a distance. And a few days later, we uh, were told that we had to uh, pack our uh, belongings and we had to move on as we could no longer stay there. And they killed those people that they uh, didn't want to, uh, to, to let go and they broadcast over a loudspeaker that it was unsafe to remain in that compound and that we had to leave uh, by midnight. And that night we couldn't sleep because we were afraid that we would be uh, killed. But uh, we were not called. And only certain prisoners pris. were called, uh, their names were called out to be killed, mm, including uh, Rome, ont été appelés par leur nom, notamment Rome pour who être was my friend. Mon ami. And I knew uh, of a date from the scarf uh, that he had. And we were told that those portait. people would be sent first, and that my uh, group would be sent by dawn. And we couldn't sleep because we, we, we knew that we would be killed during the night. So the first group uh, went and in the morning we were not allowed to, to, to go out and then they cooked a pot, uh, gruel for us. And I went to the pond, the pond where I saw those people who uh, cleanse their body uh, with blood, and that's where I saw the scarf uh, of Rome. Then I knew that surely Rome was killed because the scarf was uh, caught in the uh, barbed wire. And I knew that they were not uh, being transferred elsewhere, but instead they were uh, uh, killed. And then we were uh, told that we uh, would be uh, transferred. Ihan and I uh, were amongst Ihan them, and she had a three-month baby Elle when she was detained, but uh, in two years' time, uh, the baby could walk. So, we saw people going to the upper part, and we were not allowed to, to, to go with those uh, villagers, and we simply followed them as we didn't know the area well. So Ihan, the lady, and I uh, moved along together with them, and when we reached Posat, Han luckily met her husband and reunited with her husband. But Sadly, I did not meet any of my mari, relatives. Moi, malheureusement, je n'ai retrouvé aucun de mes proches. And uh, several months after, 
and we heard uh, that uh, Vietnamese soldiers were approaching the area and then and that there were aerial bombardment by the uh, Vietnamese uh, troops. Des bombardements que les troupes vietnamiennes and when the situation uh, quiet down, I returned to my uh, village at the beginning of the transplantation season. And that's how I survived the regime. What, one last uh, question um, that I have to ask you uh, about, Madam Witness. One of the surviving prisoners from Krang to Chan, this is in document E. 319 slash 20.2 has uh, indicated that you had uh, a relationship with prison chief on at some point. Um, uh, is it true? Did you have a relationship with prison chief on? And if so, was this something that you wanted to do or something that you were forced to to do. Can you tell us that, please? This is simply a rumor. And uh, Ta'an was the chief of the prison, Ta -an and I personally did not have any relationship whatsoever with a person who killed my husband. Avec une personne qui avait I tué was a prisoner there, so it, it, it is impossible for me to have a relationship with the killer of my husband. Uh, thank you, Madam Witness, for answering all my questions today. Uh, Mr. President, I have no further questions. President, uh, thank you. It is now appropriate for our uh, lunch break. We take a break now and resume at 1.30 this afternoon. Court officer, uh, please uh, make an arrangement to assist the uh, witness during the lunch break and invite her as well as the TPO staff back into the uh, courtroom at 1.30. Security personnel, you are instructed to take a kiss and pawn to the uh, waiting room downstairs and have him return to attend the proceedings this afternoon before 1.30. The court is now in recess.